Hey there, fellow streamers. Welcome to the channel dedicated to helping you supercharge your Fire Stick. In today's video guide, we're going to be installing one of the best video streaming apps out there, and also one of my personal favorites, Kodi. Movies, TV shows, anime, even retro gaming. Whatever you're looking for, it's got it, so make sure to stick around till the end of the video, and we'll go through how to get the best build out there, all from your Fire Stick. Remember, you can always pause the video if you need more time. First, we're going to head to the home screen of your device and make our way across to the search icon. In the search bar, start typing the word Downloader, and after a couple of letters, it should appear at the top of the list, so go ahead and click on it. Click on the icon, you can't miss it, it's the big orange one with Downloader written on it. While that's downloading, if I could ask that you hit that like and subscribe button, it only takes two seconds, but helps out the channel massively. Before we open up Downloader, we need to enable some hidden settings to make it work. So hit the Home button, make your way across to Settings, and then down to the My Fire TV icon. By default, the developer options are hidden. Just enter the About section and tap on the device name seven times. Hit the Back button and you should now see they have been enabled. Once inside, go ahead and click Install Unknown Apps. You can now go ahead and switch the toggle to On for Downloader. Now that's all done. Head over to your newly installed Downloader app. Open it up, then make your way to the search bar, just like in the video. Once you've clicked the search bar, type in this web address exactly as you see on the screen. Once you're finished typing, click OK and wait for the site to load. Head over to the menu in the top right corner, then scroll down and click Download. Scroll down again and find the Android logo. This is the one we need as our Fire Sticks run on a modified version of the Android operating system. Then go down and find this exact version you see on the screen. It has to be this 32-bit version as the others will not work on your device. Now, while we wait for that to download and install, I should tell you that while Kodi is probably the best media player out there, no media will be available without some extra steps we need to take to download and install the add-on that is going to give us all that streaming goodness. Just follow along with me in the video, and I'll show you how to get the best build out there at the moment, all from within the Kodi app itself. Okay, so now that's all been installed, we can go ahead and click open. Kodi will ask for some permissions and may take a moment to open up. Just click OK and wait until you get to the app's home screen. Now, as you can see, if you scroll around a bit, there's nothing in here apart from a few standard add-ons. Not for long. There's just a few more steps we need to go through first. Make your way to this small cog icon and click on it. This will take us to the settings screen. Once it's open, go ahead and scroll down to the box that says System. Then make your way down to Add-ons. Press across and enable Unknown Sources. Click Yes to the warning. Then press back on your remote to get to the Settings screen. Then make your way to File Manager. Now we're going to scroll down to Add Source and go ahead and click on it. Once this box appears, just go ahead and click the middle button on your remote. Now we need to tell Cody the location of the zip file we are going to need to install the build. Just make sure you type in exactly what you see on the screen, as we need to make sure that Cody can grab that file so it can start the installation a bit later on. I'll keep this section at a slower speed so you can make sure you can follow along. Remember, you can always pause or rewind the video if it's going too fast. Go ahead and press OK once you're finished, then OK again when this box appears. As you can see, the source has now been added to the top of the list. 
Now press back, scroll across to add-ons, then make your way down to the install from zip file option. Click the first one in the list, then go ahead and click on the zip file. You'll know if it's worked, as you will see a notification in the corner of the screen, just like the video. Now that the repository has been installed, we need to install the add-on. So press back on your remote until you get to the home screen of Kodi. Then scroll down to add-ons, then scroll across to install from repository. Click into the digs repository, then scroll down to install program add-ons. You'll see there is a ton of stuff in there, but the one we want is the bright green Chef Omega Wizard. So go ahead and click on that. Then click install. Then click OK to allow it to install some extra needed add-ons. These will then install, and again, you'll know it's worked as there will be another notification in the top right corner of the screen. Click back, close the information screen, then it will ask if you want to install a build. Go ahead and click Yes. There will be a few builds in the list, but the one we are after is the Digs AIO Free Plus Burst version 1.1, so scroll down and select that. And click Continue. Now, there's been a lot of news lately about streaming movies and IPTV online, so we would always recommend using a VPN while using these builds. We personally recommend using IP Vanish, and by following the link in the description or in our bio, you can get up to 83% discount and it costs just a couple of dollars a month. Here's a quick video of the benefits. Did you know that your ISP can see all of your streaming activity? While your watch list may not be that interesting, your ISP can also keep track of all of your other online activity. Do you feel like your privacy is invaded now? With IP Vanish, all of your data is encrypted so your ISP can no longer understand your online activity. Protect your internet privacy today with IP Vanish. Just click the link in the description and register to ensure your privacy. Once that's downloaded, just click OK to allow Kodi to close and for the install to take effect. Once you're on the home screen, just make your way to your apps. Then you will find Kodi at the back of the list. I like to take this opportunity to move the app to the beginning, as it's the app I will be using the most on my own personal Fire Stick. Now we can click back into Kodi. Once it's loaded and we get to this screen, go ahead and click on Install Xenon Free. Follow the prompts. And once it's finished, hit Apply Skin. Select Xenon Free from the list, and you should then see that the skin has now been applied. Now, a lot of things will be downloading in the background, so take a few moments to look around and familiarize yourself with this new skin. Just make sure to click OK to all the dependencies it needs to install. If you found this video useful, please be sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos.